Hey, what's up, y'all? So we're in city three of the honeymoon tour. In Stone Town right now, which is an area of Zanzibar, and it's one of the main areas that you can take a ferry to get to from Dar es Salaam, or you can. <laughs> Or you can fly here, and then after we leave Stone Town, we're headed to another area of Zanzibar, which uh, going to the Hongwe Beach. We took the ferry and we got our tickets at the office as we weren't able to buy them online. We had issues. Just a warning, it's very chaotic outside. Beware of the porters who will try to take your bags because they want to escort you through so that they can get a tip. We did the royal class, so we were in a separate lounge, and then we boarded early. So if you have any luggage, be mindful of some of the luggage will go in the checked area, but then you can take some, but you just have to be able to take it up the steps. This is the VIP seating. And then we go to our royal class seats. Hey, what's up, y'all? So I'm in the royal class of the Chasm Ferry, the Kilimanjaro, and we're checking it from Dar to Zanzibar. While you're here, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more travel tips and travel news and travel hacks. It's free to subscribe and it helps this channel tremendously if you comment and subscribe and it helps get this channel to other people who want to travel well. So please be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell for all notifications. Very spacious and royal class, the seats recline and you have a TV. Not only does the back recline, you also have the option to extend the lower part of the chair so that you can use the footrest. You do have to fill out an immigration card if you are not a local. So if you're a foreigner, you have to fill that out. There were snacks provided and there were snacks in the lounge as well. Tastes pretty good. Tastes like it's like a potato. So I got one of each. You get two. This is like a potato. It has like a curry taste to it. And then this is like a little meat pie. Pretty good. You get your choice of tea, coffee, juice, or water. And I was able to turn on my computer. There is Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi didn't work. So it's kind of touch and go. But I took that time to transfer some of my photos into a hard drive and backing them up. Then you can change the stations on the TV and connect with your headphones. Make sure you check out the logistics plan that I have where I tell you how you can make this multi-city destination trip happen, the best way to save money on that trip, and it's below this video. The trip was about an hour and you have to wait for your bags to come off so you have to take note of what cart your bag was in. After going through customs and security, we met our driver who was already scheduled to pick us up. Then we headed to Stone Town, which is the main area of Zanzibar. We stayed here before heading on 
to Poway Beach. We use Marriott points for this hotel as it's a Marriott. Check out promotions for this hotel in the description of this video. The food was decent for dinner and it had a great view. Then we went to the night market, which was really recommended, but for me it was a little overwhelming because people were constantly asking you to come to their booth. So it's something that's always recommended, but it just wasn't for me. We walked around the city. And then the next day we explored Stone Town and shopped and also went to the Freddie Mercury Museum. Shopping is definitely a place where you need to bring your negotiation skills. Afterwards, we headed to our actual hotel in Pongwe Beach which was about an hour away. And if you're staying at some of the beaches that are actually in Zanzibar, prepare for at least an hour to two hours, depending on which beach you're going to. And we're going to Pongwe Beach Hotel. And also when you're looking at taxis, make sure they're actually licensed and get a few different quotes for the best taxi. You can also ask your hotel. Uber does not work in Zanzibar. Once we were at the hotel, we pretty much stayed there because this was the end of the trip and we just wanted to relax. Okay, so finally made it to the last destination and we took three planes and one boat. And now we're in Zanzibar, Tanzania. And this is the view of the room. We purchased the room rate that included breakfast and dinner, so we had an assortment of meals, but we ended up getting lunch during the day as well. All right, some mousses. I knew I should've got those. Mm. Way better than the ones we had in Dar. That's the one that, that was just average. For the weekend night, they had a buffet as well as some music. The next day, we headed back to the U.S. and started our first flight. 